I would never tell you this, Captain, but he was quite upset without you around. You don't know what it means to be upset until you've been trapped in the belly of a giant beast, Alf. Oh, I didn't mean to suggest that I knew what it was like, Captain. No matter. Now that we're back together, we need to work together as a team again. Hopefully that'll put an end to your moping, Alf. Thanks, Brittany. Hey everybody, it's Gear to you here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 3. In the previous video, we went back to the distant tundra to continue exploring, and now that we have three captains, and now that we have three captains, we could objectively continue the main story and go through the tropical wilds, but I want to go back to the Garden of Hope real quick because there is a lot of stuff we could do right now, now that we have three captains. Alrighty then, so now that we have uh, three captains and three different types of Pikmin, we can do a lot of stuff here that we weren't able to do before. We can continue exploring this area and continue doing some more awesome Pikmin things that are super cool and stuff. Now right away, I want to go over here and take care of these Wallywogs right now. So let's take care of them because we have the super awesome power of Rock Pikmin. Then they can destroy the Wallywogs with no problem. Your reign of terror is over, Wallywog! <laughs> That Wallywog thought it could still have a chance, but no, we have the ultimate being of power in the Pikmin world, the Rock Pikmin. Your reign of terror is over, Wallywog. Alright, come on. Wallywog, come on, be defeated already. You know you're some prolonging the inevitable. Yeah, you're defeated. Alright, let's, uh, let's take the Wallywog back over there. And while they do that, I'm going to be going over here. Um, and I'm going to have some Rock Pikmin uh, work on this. Well, no, I probably should have... I'm going to have my Reds take care of that. I'm going to have my Reds work on the Postons right now. So, yeah, we're, they're going to be doing that over the course of the day. You're going to be seeing me do that a couple... T um, a Pikmin is drowning. Where are they? Where are they? Okay, whew, they're safe. Alright, um, if I could stop being sidetracked, um, what I was trying to say was that I'm going to be doing that a couple times for this Let's Play, where I'm going to have a, a small group of Pikmin work on those uh, Postons um, while I continue exploring the rest of the world. I'm going to have my Red Pikmin uh, work on defeating these uh, 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 Fiery Blowhogs. Now, one thing I want to say for the record was that Pikmin 2 was a huge jerk when it came to the enemy placement, when it came to the, when it came to the Fiery Blowhogs. And the reason I say that is because they would frequently put them by an electrical gate. And I know I've said this before, but in Pikmin 2, electrical gates were instant were would instantly defeat your Pikmin. Uh, so they so the fiery blow hog, while you're trying to actively fight them, you'd have um you'd best use them the red the red Pikmin to fight them because they are fireproof. But they would throw them over to an electrical, a nearby electrical gate and instantly defeat them. So yeah, Pikmin 2 was a huge jerk when it came to the enemy placement. But in this game, electrical gates do not instantly defeat your Pikmin. It's such a beautiful sight that I can't get enough of. Alright, so uh, we're going to be going back over to where the other Pikmin were because uh, that electrical gate is destroyed. Um, the red Pikmin, I believe, are the only Pikmin type that um, do not have... The, all the other Pikmin in the game, with the exception of the red Pikmin, um, can defeat... have like an exclusive gate that only they can destroy. Like the uh, yellow Pikmin have electrical gates, the rock Pikmin have glass gates. We'll see a few more examples uh, later in the Let's Play. Which I won't spoil right now because I'm awesome and I don't spoil these games in the first couple of let's plays in the first couple of videos. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that now. What I'm gonna be doing right now is that I'm going to have uh, some of uh, my Pikmin. Not all, not all of them. I'm gonna have my Pikmin work on that grape over there um, because well, there's a grape over there and I want them to work on that real quick. So let's go over there. Come on, move faster. Alright. Now I'm going to switch over to a different captain so I can pr continue exploring this area. There's a box over here that we can uh, move to go to the next area, but I'm not going to be going down there quite yet. I want to go back outside um, and uh, 
What I want to do right now is I want to go back outside and enter this cave through a different direction. Now, the reason why I want to do that is because, uh, well, um, there's going to be something in that area, in that part of the cave, that I don't really want to take care of right now. I'd like to save that for closer towards the end of the video. Um, so, yeah, that's the reason why I'm going to be doing that. Alright, you want to be careful with that because I believe they can't, those platforms can crush your Pikmin. Um, with the exception of the Rock Pikmin, obviously, because they are completely immune to being crushed, and it is awesome. Um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna leave Charlie right there, wait for those other Pikmin to continue doing their own stuff. And what I, a detail I really like is that this, the entrance to the cave right there is a storm drain. That is a very clever detail that I have to applaud Nintendo for. So while I have my, okay, where do I want to go? I'm gonna go to this bridge right here. While they do that, I'm going to have uh, Charlie um, gather these Pikmin so that we can reunite with them over to where we're going to be going next. We're not going to be exploring absolutely everything we can at the moment. Um, now, we objectively could because there is one more fruit that we can get with the yellows, but there's a different... Um, there's going to be something that will happen later in the game that will make it easier on us to get that fruit if we just wait for a little while. We somehow lost a Pikmin. Um, I think I know how. Um, it's probably one of those creatures that like throw the crystal ball things um, at the Pikmin. Um, I probably had the other pick. I probably had the other captains um, too close to to those enemies. So, or probably this bubble board. Let's defeat that bubble board quick. We're not having to collect the remains of it. <laughs> We're pure evil. And one thing I want to say right now is that I just recently discovered. Literally, I'm not kidding, I literally just recently discovered this, was that these enemies, uh, when they're um, when they're throwing the crystal thingies, when they're throwing the crystal thing in the air, if they throw it directly above themselves, like if you had your captain directly near them, then you um, it will throw it in the air, and if it hits itself, it will instantly destroy itself. It's probably much faster and more efficient to destroy them with the rock pikmin. Um, but it's just a little, nice little detail. It's just a nice little um, strategy that I thought I'd recommend. Um, I did not mean to go to my apps. I want to dismiss my Pikmin. And while the yellow Pikmin work on that, I'm going to have Charlie go back over here to where Brittany was trapped. This was something we could see, we could have seen earlier, but I wanted to wait until now to properly sort it off. If you look at this wall right here and then go into your camera app, you will see another Pikmin drawing of Rock Pikmin destroying a crystal. And I'm going to take a picture of it because I'm awesome. Alright, now, uh, one thing I wanted to do right now is that um, I'm kind of tempted to, like, do, like, a little contest or something. Um, where if somebody were to find the Beaver's post I just made, um, that, um, they'd get, like, a sad out or whatever. Though I'm probably not going to do that because, well, I kind of don't feel like doing that. Um, but anyway, well, if you do find that Beaver's post, then... By all means, uh, go look for it or whatever. Like my Miiverse, my Miiverse whose name is the same as YouTube. Um, so if you want to go look for that Miiverse post, by all means, go ahead and look for it. Um, so anyway, now we're gonna be going over here. Um, we're gonna be just introduced to a couple new enemies, but first we're gonna be going down over here and destroying these dirt mounds. Yay! This is such great gameplay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Charlie run around circles around it. We circles! Circles are so much fun! That's why Akami is one of the best RPGs ever. We just got Pikmin pellets from that. Not entirely useful. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to pick them up because I don't really feel like doing that. Well, alright, that Rock Pikmin felt the need to do it. That Rock Pikmin did exactly what I told it not to do. Bad Pikmin. Bad. What do you have to say for yourself? This one over here, however, is a little bit more important. Uh, we can have our Pikmin go over there. Um, I don't know why I suddenly had a British accent right there, but now they're gonna go destroy the dirt mound again. Yay, it's so incredibly exciting, and I'm still running around circles in this thing. And we get a data file! A bug-eyed Cromad's belly is its weakest point. Attack its eyeballs to flip it over. Foreshadowing! What could possibly happen? What could that data file possibly mean? 
Oh, well, we're, now we're going to be introduced to some new enemies. These, uh, Hermit Comrades. These enemies, um, they returned from Pikmin 2. They were not in the original game, if I remember correctly. Now, they will, um, they usually stay in the water, but they will go after your Pikmin if they, if you're near, too close to them. What you can do, however, is that you can dodge out of the way from them and uh, counterattack. Now, these enemies are very simple to fight, and I actually really like these enemies for some reason. I don't know why, but I've always really loved these enemies, and I don't really know why, because, well, they're just there. But anyway, now we're going to be introduced to a boss fight. This is the Bug-Eyed Crawmad. How we're going to be fighting this thing is that we need to attack its eyeballs, the law of Nintendo. If something has an eyeball, it must die. So anyway, um, after you flip it over, you want to throw the... Um, Pikmin on top of its belly, just like the data file told us to. Um, now, and because of our super awesome red Pikmin abilities, uh, we are like th um, three quarters of the way defeated with this thing. So let's continue fighting this thing. This is actually one of my more personal favorite boss fights in the game um, because it's very simplistic in uh, design, but it just looks really cool. Um, like it, um, the enemy design, like the way it looks, uh, it just looks really cool. Now I want to be careful right here because there's water everywhere and we don't exactly have Pikmin right now that um, are immune to the water. So we need to be careful with that. Uh, we just lost some Pikmin. Um, that's not entirely good. We lost five yellows. Oh boy. That's not good at all. But anyway, w um, this was the area where we pushed the box to gain access to the now activating that sword cut right there. We're going to have some Pikmin carry over there. I don't really care uh, who carries it. It looks like the rock Pikmin are. But we're going to have our other Pikmin carry that. Alright. And I don't think I'm going to collect the remains of the other Chromads in this area. Simply because I don't feel like it. And there's one more thing that I want to do today before we end off this video. So what I want to do is I want to go to the other side of the map and uh, collect one more piece of fruit. We defeated the boss fight already, so even if we're not able to get that fruit, then I'd be perfectly happy with how this day turned out. Although, I'd like to be able to get this last piece of fruit, because if not, then I'm going to go a little bit crazy on the inside knowing that it was there, and I could have gotten it, but I didn't. Alright, how many yellows do we have? We have 28, so yeah, we have enough Pikmin. Uh, let's take care of these uh, dwarf bulb orbs. Um, be careful around them, as usual, because even though they're the most basic com enemy to defeat, you know what, be careful with there. Oh my god, the butterfly landed on the bulb orb. It's so cute. I lost manly points right there. Anyway, um, one thing I don't really think I've mentioned yet is that I don't really know if it's true for this game, but I do know that in Pikmin 2, that in Pikmin 2, the dwarf bulb orbs would, um, they would do this thing where um, they would, like, call, uh, they would, like, have, like, they would, like, call uh, the other... Um, bulb orbs in the area, and they would like attack your Pikmin. So, um, like if they like they would wake up the bulb orb in the area. I'm not entirely sure if that if that's the case with this game. It probably is, but I don't. But I might be mistaken about that. Now I want the rest of my Pikmin to be. I'm gonna have some reds and mostly yellows with me right now. Um, so let's take them out. Um, the reason why that why we're doing that is because I want to. Where are the yellow? Ah, it doesn't matter. I don't care right now. I was gonna have my yellows um, call them out so that we, because we're gonna be digging up the next piece of fruit, um, and the yellows are the best diggers. But you know what? I'm too impatient to go back into that menu to get more Pikmin. Of course, now that I say that, that's probably gonna be the reason why I won't be able to get this piece of fruit. All right, now the next one is right here, so it's very simple. It's just right there, so let's go and get it real quick. While they do that, I'm going to have uh, Charlie go into the apps, apparently. I keep, I keep pushing the wrong button. You see, the thing with the gamepad is that on the gamepad, there are these... Um, on the left side of the screen, there are a bunch of bubbles that will... Um, these bubbles will um, do a bunch of stuff like, like dismiss your Pikmin, go into the apps. And the bubbles for the apps and the, and the dismiss whistle... They are, like, right next to each other, so... Um, because of the way I'm recording this Let's Play, I'm kind of paying more attention to, this, to the TV... Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is very, very bad. This is not good at all. No, oh, the... Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get that today. 
Okay, where are those other, where are those other Pikmin? What are they doing right there? They could have helped with the other fruit. What are they doing right there? Huh? What? Those Pikmin, they should have been in my squad. They could have helped the other Pikmin carry the last piece of fruit to the area. They could have, we could have gotten that done much quicker. Why were they just all grouped together, like, worshipping the wall or whatever? <laughs> Eh, whatever. We got we we at least defeat the boss fight, so I am happy with what with the progress we made today. But uh, it's gonna drive me crazy knowing that we didn't get everything I wanted to be able to do right now. But we beat the boss, so whatevs. New fruit! Yay! One thing I really like is that the names for um, the different types of grapes, like the green one and uh, the purple one, the green one is called the Dust, the Dawn Pustules, um, and the purple one to call Dusk Pustules. I might be mispronouncing that, and I probably am, so people are probably going to be making fun of me in the comments for mispronouncing something that pretty much everybody else would be able to know how to pronounce. Um, but I really like the names where it's like Dawn and Dusk. It's like really, it's like a, it's a, it's kind of clever. All right? Um, we have a, a really big, uh, juice buffer, so we should be, so I, I think we're beyond the point right now of having to worry about whether or not we have enough fruit to complete the game. I think we're way past that point, so we should be fine for a while. I we have the captain back, but we haven't made much progress over the last few days. Excuse me? I've made a lot of progress these past couple days. I rescued the captain, I explored the distant tundra, and I explored the Garden of Hope. What do you mean I haven't made much progress the past couple days? A search for edible matters uh, why we're here, but if we don't find the cosmic drive key, we'll never make it back to. Well, we'll never get the food back to go by. We'll still check the map next day and we go out to see if we're there in place. It looks suspicious. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching this video of Pikmin 3, and until next time, we'll be geared to you.